Hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games and welcome back to part 3 of my Scotland campaign here in Crusader Kings 3. So, in this episode we're going to hopefully get some expanding going on. I've been debating uh, who I want to get an alliance with and I'm pretty sure I can get one with one of the Jimenez brothers down here and... Well, actually, speak of the devil. Um, I was going to say I wanted to see who's going to come out on top. Hmm, it looks like Castile is, uh, is winning right now. So, if that is, in fact, the case, I think... Did I say Jimenez? Jimena, excuse me. Um, like a baby. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna... We're going to wait until the claim on Ulster is done, then I'm gonna marry into them. Oh uh, yeah, we have those allies that I was setting up, but that's not really a thing to worry about. Um... We're going to... Oh, yeah, there was also something somebody mentioned. I wanted to go to settings, um, game, and... There, there was... I'm so sorry, I should have done this in between episodes, but somebody was suggesting to me a way to make the pop-ups a little bit more manageable. It was, uh, yeah, settings, game, tooltip mode, and, uh... We were looking for... Uh, action lock. Okay. Yeah, so now I could do something like... Um, okay, I'm trying to, You know, next time we see a tooltip, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, so. Uh, we have prowled through the documents, see it done, we now have our claim on Ulster. Okay, so we're immediately now going to want to get to work on... Uh, here because uh, they have a couple of counties so we're gonna want to um, take one and then later on we'll get the we'll be done with the, the we'll do the peace thing truce fabricate end Blah. brain hurting hold on let me drink some water <laughs> okay gosh I'm frazzled this morning all right so now um, we want to get this alliance going on with with Castile, who I think is going to win against Galicia. But if we help them out, it'll save their forces, and then they can go for uh, they can make a play for or Leon and, and unite the kingdoms. Uh, okay, so we're going to set this up with his daughter. Uh, they won't accept. They want something matrilineal, I think. Yeah, which is fine. This is my second son. It's not a big deal. Actually, I should have it be the youngest one. So let's arrange the marriage with Malcolm, because Malcolm's only six, so we'll marry Malcolm to his daughter. It'll be matrilineal. It's not a big deal. Um, it's my third son, and hopefully I'm going to have more down the line. Um, although, my wife might be a little bit too old for this. I think we might might be time to murder her. Yeah, hate to do it, but that's just how it is. Sorry, baby. Don't hate the player. Hate Crusader Kings 3. Okay, so now I think the alliance should be automatic. Yeah, we didn't have to actually take the time to do that, which I kind of like. I like that you don't have to take that step because that used to really annoy me in CK2 where like you'd marry your firstborn to somebody else's firstborn and you still wouldn't have an alliance and then you ask for the alliance and they'd still go, uh, nah. Yeah, just, okay, so anyway, they want me to join in the war. I could decline, but that's going to cost an uh, opinion of me. So what we're going to do is we're going to say I accept. Um, and then we're going to also declare this war at the same time. So we'll go and get Ulster first. Uh, like, it's not even close. We've got them practically 10 to 1. It's going to be a very, very easy fight. Uh, now, if, while we cannot expand outwards into the Isles due to the multitude of alliances they have, they also probably can't attack me for much, so it's not a big deal here right now. Actually, well, having said that, I think they're fighting a war for Carrick right now. Or else for uh, Ayrshire. Ayrshire, right here. So we'll try to see if this gets split off. Uh, that would be kind of cool. I sure hope so. All right, to Ulster. This should be easy. If we're really lucky, we won't even have to fight the army. All right, five speed. Let's go. Let's go. We have an ally to help. 
Oh, we have a new perk for our diplomacy lifestyle. Very cool. So now we can get friendly counsel. I've been wanting this because every friend relation gives two random skill points. I do have a friend already, but what's going to be really great is the one after it. The sound foundations where I'll get a skill point for every living child that I have. And hopefully I'll have a lot more. But even if I don't, I already have three, which is cool. What is this? A liar's pay. I was shocked when I caught Duncan trying to steal um, from the travel chest of the visiting Duke Gospatrick. He blamed a game another child had invented, but I could tell he was lying. Uh, we can have him become deceitful, or we could change it to that he's honest. Uh, I think deceitful might actually be pretty good for him uh, because of the intrigue bonus. Uh, that's going to hurt Catholic opinion and his overall piety, but I think the intrigue boost is worth it. Yeah, look at that. He's already got nine, and he's only nine years old. Yeah, I think this was the right call. Okay, scheme at court. Somebody is plotting to kill me. Hold on a sec. Christina also has got 100 opinion of me. She's not going to join the court. Okay, I think it's then time to cancel this. It's just not going to happen. Now then. Um... Oh, I occupied the wrong area. <laughs> the holster. Let me come down here. Look at that. We're already 83%. Too easy. Actually, we might go to war for this also before we go help Castile, because they don't actually seem to need the help <laughs> now that it looks like it. Well, like they didn't before, but I was thinking about just um, going and destroying some of the men for them. The scheme has been discovered. Everyone knows my plan to kill the queen. Um, they whisper I have to resort to unhandedness even in my own home. I get in the scheme. Uh, this was all big understanding. I could spend prestige, or I'll show them how far I can go, and it gains dread. Um, no, we're gonna we're gonna keep doing it. Whatever they know. And that's it. Accosted. My agents have scheduled a journey for Queening Bjorn, which will take them through dark woods. All that is missing is the band of thugs that will tragically slay them in a highway robbery gone wrong. I can already imagine blood seeping into the dark soil. So, 45% chance of success here. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. Okay, meanwhile, enforce our demands. May your rumors rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. I am now the Earl of Ulster. It's good to be the king. Alright, we've only got five months left until we're going to be able to go after this as well. So what I think we're going to do is just disband our armies. Oh, the, it failed. If at first you don't succeed... Okay, it looks like she is, though, going to be uh, watchful. So you see what I did here is uh, I just clicked the middle mouse button. And you see how the highlight changed there? So now I can uh, like move into it easily, as opposed to if I don't do that, then it disappears. So their scheme resistance is going to go up. Uh, yeah, let's just keep trying it. I'm sorry, honey, I need somebody better. I just don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's gonna take two months to return home. That's okay. And there they go, disappearing. Yeah, we just, um... Okay, Donald is in hiding. He's been hiding all over the castle, so this person is bullying him. This is the son guy from Fife. Uh, so we can have him become lazy, which these kind of both suck. Um, yeah, Craven is really, really bad, though, so we're going to have to become stressed and my son becomes a bit lazy. That's very unfortunate. Social manipulation. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought, but my vassal mayor, Siamas, has grown bolder. His challenges no longer pass unnoticed among my vassals. He is testing my limits. Others are sure to follow unless I give him a taste of his own medicine. Okay, so this guy has got a positive opinion of me, but he's a resentful follower. I could mock his bothersome nature, and it'll give me diplomacy lifestyle experience. And I'll have a weak hook on him. Oh, well, that's if it works. Um, oh, it looks like I'm going to get 50, no matter, except for the king thing. Hmm. 
I don't really see a difference between these three things. Uh, commenting on his amorous lips will throw him off. He does have... Let's not get into that. Um, so we're gonna, I'm going to say he shall have tasks which are impossible to complete. I didn't manipulate him. All right, we uh, we now can press the claim here. Um, let's go ahead and pause. Whoops. They want me to join me in the county of Combra. All right, so this is against Muslims. Okay. Hold on. All right, this is a fight they might actually need my help with. So it's them. Again, see they're defending against Leon. Leon is claiming Galicia. Okay. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, uh, actually I think they're gonna be okay. Um, but in any case, let's declare this war. And, uh, okay, let me also double check for the Jour Duchies, so I'll have this and this. Hmm. Let's first fabricate a claim on, uh, let's get working on Bria Fide, because then I could, I could already make the Duchy title, I think. Uh, and then, uh, wait a minute. Do you want to go down to Dublin? Get Meath? Who's weaker? Well, they're all pretty weak. None of them have more than a few hundred men. Okay, we'll come over here to Briefne. Okay. Good. So, uh, let's rise up. Join me in the Leonese claim on the Kingdom of Galicia. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, let's go. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Oh, Tustig of Godwin. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need to turn this music down again. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's just super loud in my own ears. Um, okay, Tostig. Did I read that right? Tostig just showed up in my own court? With his claim on Northumbria? My guest and friend. So... Does that mean England's done fighting? No, they're they're still defending against Norway. How did this happen? How did he? This is very very interesting. He is my guest. He is my friend. He is the brother of the current king of England. Oh, Duke. Oh, well, not current. The former Duke Harold Godwinson, who uh, <laughs> he looks like he's had a rough go of things, doesn't he? Um, but this is very interesting. He actually has a claim on the kingdom of England. Um, okay, 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 okay. Here's what we gotta do. But I don't have any daughters. I was gonna say, we for sure have to, um... We've gotta get, you know, him married into the family and get the get the claim pressed, but, you know, it's fine. The point here is he has a claim on Daria and Northumbria. Um, both of which are nice chunks to have. Uh, so we certainly, I think, want to press this. The problem is England is uh, horribly powerful, um, and they are beating Norway. But uh, that's good to know that we have him in the court when we want to take a chunk out. Very, very good to know. Hmm. I could also grant him a title. Maybe I'll make him the Earl of Ulster or something. And then uh, go from there. But uh, very, very, very interesting. Anyway, let's uh, let's work on getting some more of these Irish areas. My spy master approaches me with a wicked grin. My lord, this pouch contains a powder most nefarious. If sprinkled on top of something, say a gift for Queen Ingborg, it leaves no trace but will afflict whoever touches it with weakness and ill humors. Uh, okay, we're gonna go for it, even though I'm not a huge fan of that it cost it cost me uh, 30 gold. Let's come over here. And just besiege the place. Alright, we have another new perk available to us. The sound foundations. Great, and so soon we'll be able to become 
a patriarch, which will increase my fertility, helps with stress loss, close family opinion goes up, house opinion goes up. It's just a really nice thing to have. Um, and the fertility will help with later. All right. Um, a meal to die for. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired, and the duck was gifted to Queen uh, Ingebjorg alone. It will be rubbed with the poison, and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. Okay, a little bit better chance. Like, 1% better chance this time. She got out unharmed. Well, if at first you don't succeed. So what is this, a, a French war? Oh, shoot. Okay, I probably should stop playing at 5 speed for a little bit. Um, your neighbor, Petty King Gutrod, has lost against your cousin, Duke Gospatric, in the Lothian War for Earl Eodolf's claim on the Moramerdom of Ayrshire. Okay, cool. So one of my, um, one of my vassals did the work for me. Lothian has expanded, and they've taken a little piece of the Isles. Thank you very much. Now that's a good vassal. Like a good vassal, Gospatric is there. And he likes me, which is also good. What's the faction... How the factions going these days. Uh, Alright, it's just a liberty thing right now. Nothing too serious. Uh, are the Isles having a civil war, or am I crazy? Being raided. I don't know, I guess it's just something about the coloration. I thought it was... You guys are seeing it, right? Whatever. Unpause, and we're going to be done here soon. That's it. Ooh, we got the sun. Okay, so be it. Uh, all right, so Scotland continues to expand. Now it does look like uh, they are having a little bit of trouble down here. So let's go and help our Castilian allies. Uh, yeah, because because a, a united a united northwestern Iberia will be a, a decent ally to have. We're gonna need some sort of allies in case England comes a calling. Uh, shoot, Duncan's in hiding again. This little brat is pissing me off. Alright, once again, let's do the lazy thing. Uh, my stress levels are rising a bit more than I would like. Okay, this guy's pissed because I'm pressing a, you know, making a false claim. Well, I guess he's just gonna have to get over it, isn't he? Okay, it's about even, the strength of these two armies, but what we're going to do is we're going to go take their capital. Heresy Cathars in Yamatland. Um, in in Yam, Yam, Yamatland? Up here, this area. Uh, he is converted to Catharism, having become disillusioned with the teachings of the Catholic priest. The nobles of Yamland no longer consider the clergy to be righteous and through. True, as Cathars, they believe their new faith properly aligns with the will of God, and they are distancing themselves from their former religious institutions. We will not be converting once again, but it's interesting to know that that is what's going on. Okay, cool. The Leonese have uh, lost decisively. Uh, the fort level over here is pretty high, so we're having some trouble uh, besieging them. Okay. Uh-oh. It looks like one of my mares... Or no, is that not them? Ah, till death do us part, my dear Ingebjorg, I might not have loved you, yet I feel your passing more acutely than I ever thought possible. You were always there, my constant companion. Did I take you for granted? There are so many things left unsaid. Uh-oh, ten stress? No, I'm still going to be okay. My queen died. Excellent. Um, as I make all the preparations necessary for the queen's departure from this world, I am interrupted by a page. The spawn of hell went and died without any help from me. Oh, <laughs> It was natural causes. Wow. But she was getting older. Uh, okay. So now, hallelujah, I can get married. Uh, so, I need to find myself a spouse. Let's find somebody with decent rank, I think. Franconian, cultural head. Uh, Ludringer. I think I'm not going to find anybody higher than like some counts. Which is kind of okay. Let's rank by, uh, we're, we're, we're looking for fertility. Fickle, ambitious, arrogant. No, no, no. Here we go. Lustful, 17-year-old lustful woman. Actually, let's try to go by intrigue. Uh, let's see. 20, 
lustful. Okay. She's sadistic yet calm. Interesting. Okay, this Italian woman chance of children would be high. I would lose prestige. Quite a bit of prestige, actually, because she's an unlanded woman, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, I'll get plenty of prestige moving forward as I keep conquering and stuff. Good, good, because the point here is we've got to have some kids. I'd really like to have some daughters. Okay, see this done. Good, we have a brand new claim. Papa's got a brand new claim. Oh, yeah, I probably also can uh, create that title, right? Yeah, the Duchy of Ulster. So I don't have the money for that. But uh, it's good to know that I have it. Moriam of Buckhead, current holder. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway, let's uh go back to the council. Yeah, and keep fabricating some claims there. Okay. Maybe I'll loot a little bit of gold from here or something if I'm lucky. It's the raised armies that are hurting my income a bit. Join me in the Liberty War. That's fine. Oh, cool. They're right there. I'll be able to beat them up right now. Okay, wait, Kingdom of France. Oh, that's a neutral army. Where's the, uh, the ones we're fighting? Hmm. Strange. Oh, they're down here. First army of Betajo. Oh, shoot. They're about to lose, actually. Uh, okay, come on, come on. Finish up the siege. Finish the siege. Finish, finish, finish. Oh, nope, it's 100%. It's over. Hey, my wife's already pregnant. Yep, so we lost that war. Um, okay, whatever. I like I was super invested in it. Oh, great. So my son is definitely craving. Okay, cool. I, I did get some gold from uh, occupying that area. Um, so then let's let's just come down here and defeat this army for them. Yeah, because they're they're taking care of the Leonese army on their own just fine. Good. good. And uh, how many... I've got two claims now, right? Yeah, like, I kind of am okay with stacking up these claims, so then I can just press multiples of them at the same time. So I could, like, press these both at the same time would be really great, and then I create the Duchy of Ulster, and I'll basically have... Well, not quite half of... Wait, no, yeah, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'll have almost half of Ireland under my control, which is good. All right, but I've got an open council position now. We have a steward here. Um, I guess my half brother is the way to go. Powerful, yeah. He doesn't like me because he's not on the vassal, so we'll sign him, and yeah, that puts him at a big hundred. Uh, just collect some taxes, please. That's really all I need from you. Okay, I have three wars I can declare. Norway has a queen now. Hmm. She looks cool. I like her. Nice braid. Um, and then William. Yeah, William's just about to finish fighting the war against Norway. All right, anyway. Down here, uh, we should be making... Yeah, we're making short work of these rebels. Too easy. And uh, let's come occupy some more areas. And, uh, get get some. This is really for gold. <laughs> Loot would only be four, though. You know what? Yeah, let's let's come up here. There's more of it. I can get 14 gold from this area. Cause I need 250, I think it was, to create the Duchy of Ulster. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, my injured knight. My knight has been wounded. The injury runs deep. I fear his body is not strong enough to fight on his own. I feel death lingers by his bedside. Hmm. Okay. My son! 
Livia has given birth to a perfect little son. What will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Now, I would like to remind everybody that I typically name uh, my characters in Crusader Kings 2 after uh, Patreons. Uh, but just for this first one, we're going to switch it up. What's another D name? I think the D names are fun because we had Duncan and Donald and, uh, and uh, whatnot. Uh, I guess we'll go with maybe Drake or something. Um, and I like this little generator thing. I like can give him Catholic name, Scott name, ancestor name, after myself, and whatnot. Uh, let's go with Damien. Whoops. Just to help confuse people, I'll be these. <laughs> all right. Now, uh, we got 14 months left here. See, what's unfortunate about this Leonese War is that it's a defensive one for Castile, so when it's over, they're not going to take control of the country. There's going to be a truce, I think. Uh, which is, that's, you know, that's too bad. All right. More loot. Where can I get some loot? Ooh, 18 loot. I like the sound of that. Uh, oh, what the heck? There's like a small Castilian army that got left there. I took Duncan out playing with a bow, and to my surprise, he ran into a wounded doe when he showed me the animal. Its wounds were evidence of a slow and torturous death. Duncan just smiled, so he now might become sadistic. Uh, show me you could have felt it yourself. Now, he could become ambitious. Ambitious is good. Ambitious is very good. Uh, although the stress gain is not great. Hmm... Um, let's see, 29 stress, what am I at right now? No, can't do it. Sorry, it's going to have to be, it's just an animal. Alright. Okay, that's going down here. Uh... King or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding through my head and throat. I could send for a physician. All I want to do is stay in bed. Uh, yeah, send for a physician. Okay, this is a problem because I need to press all the claims that I've got. Uh, my, my servants have found some people who might be fit to serve as my court physician. Either way, I fear I cannot afford to be picky now. <laughs> Apparently, Miloni is quite experienced. Is that a fact? What's the learning? 15? That's usually the number I go for. Uh, Eleanor seems enthusiastic, if nothing else. Lan seems to be trained in alternative medicine. Oh, I love that learning. What's her problem? Okay, so she's 35 years old. She's wandering. She, is an, she believes in insular Christianity. Um, a rural church that drift away from Roman... Catholic orthodoxy some centuries ago. Insular Christianity has lost many of its once distinctive features at the insistence of its mother church. It yet retains a greater emphasis on penance and monasticism and incorporates many traditional Celtic marriage customs foreign to wider Christendom. Hmm. That sounds pretty cool, actually. But I'm not doing a Gaelic culture run. But that's kind of a... Doesn't that kind of work with the whole Scottish, what I was talking about, how, like, to be a Scot, is it's an amalgamation of, uh, an amalgamation of, of these different cultures. So, mixing the traditional Celtic marriage customs with Christianity, that seems pretty cool. I think that might be fun. Would make things harder, <laughs> that's for sure. Hmm. Okay, anyway, so she's greedy, which funnily enough is sinful to insurless. She's diligent. Opinion of lazy characters goes down. It's my son that's lazy, not me. She's shy. She's an astute intellectual. That'd be really good for maybe she could be a guardian to my kids. Wise woman. She also costs less than Miloni. Would cost me a hundred piety. Hmm. Uh, 
Um, yeah, we're definitely not getting Eleanor. Okay, so she's out of the running. Dis Ooh, dishonorable villain? I don't know about that. Ravener. Huh. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even realize how long the episode had gone already. Oh, I was having a lot of fun in this one. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to pick a physician. I'm really stuck between Maloney and Lan. I guess it depends on what kind of campaign I want to run. Maloney is the safe pick, but on the other hand, he's also expensive. My son is 13. He's not quite of age. This is a tricky one. Well, in any case, in the next episode, hopefully I'm going to recover whoever I pick. We will finish up things with Leon, and then I want to press these claims. Um, yeah, this Connacht claim will be done in 11 months. So by the time it's been 11 months, I'll hopefully have the money I need to... Um, yeah, because between the loot and my regular monthly income, I should have the money I need to form the Duchy of Ulster. And then I'll declare war on all three of these counties at once, and we can take a big chunk of Ireland. Because uh, I'm still just trying to build up my power base, um, especially because England is just so damn strong. Yeah. It is a, it's a problem. You know, a lot of this is because... William is so good, his marshal is so high, the levy size has increased by a whopping 32%. It's going to take a lot of little bites, I think, to get rid of England. But we'll figure that out in the next episode. Thanks for joining me. I'm Conquering History Games, and I will see you in that next one. Bye.